welcome, welcome. I'm Dee, and this is the Unguided Life, where I am taking it one day at a time, bringing you guys along for the journey to hold me accountable as I budget my way through life. It is that time we got paid, so you know what we need to do. We need to tell our money what to do before it tells us what to do, okay? So let's go ahead and get into this. First, we have for our first income breakdown, that's number one. The date is 9-24-2021. When it comes to our paycheck, the amount that we actually see was $1,636.66. We're not pulling anything out of savings. The total amount that we're actually rolling over is $6.25. There would be no bonus added. I didn't receive anything. I didn't receive anything in the mail. <laughs> so let's see what we're working with this paycheck. So 1636 plus 625. And I know I had talked about the part-time job. I'm still going to revisit that, but maybe at a later date. I'm just going to focus primarily trying to get back into my side hustles. So these are all of the expenses that will need to be taken out of this particular paycheck. So for stars, the total is 962. Credit card number two is $133.75. The internet is $43.96. Credit card number three is $7.07. And then we have our automatic giving, which is 160. I'm actually going to do some additional giving um one of my managers lost their father so i wanted to just um send a little gift as well as a card and um so i'm just going to send the extra giving of 10. okay so let's go ahead and we're going to add that all together so we can see exactly what the total is Okay, so it's $364.40. Now, let's go over into our envelope system. I don't see any need to make any changes, so we're going to use the same numbers that we're using when we did the monthly prepan. Of course, gas always gets 60. Groceries is going to be 150. Personal is 30. I'm not going to say anything to Dunkin' Donuts because I do have quite a bit in there because I was doing my detox and I wasn't going and I had already filled like I already had a balance from the uh, income breakdown before and then I added the 20 so I don't feel like I need to add anything um, at this present time because I'm still trying to work on weight loss okay so we're not gonna pressure ourselves to do anything so that is going to give us a total of $240 now, when it comes to the sinking funds, we try to beef up Savannah because we want to have a good car maintenance plan going into or maintenance fund going into 2022. $20 is going to go to my retreat. I need, um, and I also need to break down, I need to go pick up some things because my toilet is running and it's running a little bit more than it was this last few weeks. Like I'll hear it random, no ghost flushes. But now I'm hearing it seem like every hour on the hour. So we definitely need to fix that. Of course, I always send 25 to Papa's account. I don't have to send anything to property at this present time. I am going to start that back up in November. And I'm going to send myself $50. We don't forget ourselves because I do have a plan for this to get to a certain amount so I can add a little at a time and it kind of like balances stuff out versus me throwing large chunks. So with that being said, that is going to be a total of $195. All right. So we need to know what's remaining and we need to know what we need to do with what's remaining. So we always minus the total of the $1,642.91 minus $364.40. So that left us with 
$1,278.51. And I've been thoroughly enjoying finding new budgeting channels. Like, I don't know if it's always the spur of the moment, but I think this happened like last year too, where it's a lot of new budgeting content out there. And so I'm able to find more channels. So I've been thoroughly enjoying these new channels that I have been like binge watching. So, and if you're subscribed, newly subscribed to my channel, because you've seen I subscribe to your channel, I often watch and like, and I comment a little because YouTube will start to block me. So that's why I have to be very careful and strategic how I initially send out comments when I'm a new subscriber, just to make sure, you know, but I think that I, I think that's always good because it's always good to get a refresh and see what's out there, to get new ideas. I see on the side gig, a lot of people jumping on the Grubhub bandwagon. So it's nice to see how their market looks when it comes to Grubhub because it wasn't that many Grubhub videos out there. So let's continue this. Now we're going to minus the 240 and I left it was $1,038.51. And then we're going to minus the $195. It's $843.51. So I don't say anything extra to debt. Okay. So I know as far as the check-in buffer at least $810.60 has to go here. Um, Let's see, let me just minus, minus $810.60 because, and I got that number from my pre-plan. That's why I said it's best to, to budget, like do a monthly budget pre-plan because it gives you that roadmap so you can kind of figure out what how to work the numbers when you get more or even when you get less. So that leaves them with $32.91. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to send $30 to savings already. Usually I try to wait it out, but I, I'm in good company. <laughs> so I feel like I, I can do that right now. So let me minus $30. Okay. So that's going to leave $813.51. And that's actually just going to stay in the buffer. And um, the two different, well, it's going to stay in the bill account buffer. So I have a monthly bill account. That's where I pay all my bills out of. It makes it easier to track. I also recommend that do not do your normal spending with your monthly bill spending because it's easy to track, especially if you forget a bill. You can go back and say, wait, this was due on a six. Did I make a payment? Oh, I didn't. Let me go ahead and make that payment. So I have two separate accounts. So when I know something is earmarked for a particular bill, it stays in a monthly bill account. For items that I know that I'm purchasing on my credit card, like bills is on my credit card, that money is moved to my checking account um, for my credit card because I have a credit card checking account. And then anything that I refer to as a buffer or unbudgeted goes to my unbudgeted checking account. And it's just simple transactions of, of the moving of the money that I like to do. So maybe down the line, I'll see if there's a way for me to show what I what happens after I do this breakdown, how I move the money around to get it to where it needs to go. So this is my first income breakdown of my October budget. I hope I explained everything well. Now, I will not be doing any, I don't know, maybe I will do a like a cashless envelope stuffing because I haven't done that in a while. But again, I haven't been carrying my wallet around. We'll see. I won't close out here. Um, uh, and we'll just see if I decide to feel like doing it since I haven't done it in a while. Or basically, you know what? I did it last, oh, I did this last time. Oh, just a second. I know what I can do. Okay, so I did um, close out of my spending record. And so what I can do at this um, present time, because I've closed, I'm working on closing out September's budget. And usually it starts here. I close out the spending record. I close out the check-ins and everything before I get to the next month. 
And then when I do my review, I go and just work out the numbers. So this is a spending record that I purchased. I, if the link is somewhere in the description box, but I like this because it gives, it mirrors an actual envelope system um, or in like the actual cash system, physical. And because I'm primarily digital, like I do cashless um, at this present time, it's easier for me to track. So I just go, but do the same thing. I put in when I deposit and I put in when I purchase something. So let's go ahead and just move this around so we get it going. So for Dunkin' Donuts, for and this is going to be October, this was September, and I'm glad that I decreased my categories because now I have I don't have to kill a lot of trees because boy we be killing a lot of trees. So <laughs> this is me doing my little part to help the planet. So for Dunkin' Donuts, we're going to roll over, and I don't know why I'm using this. I don't usually use this uh, pen, the color one, so let me use this. So for the rollover, and I'm going to cock this a little, we're going to have $24.10. And that's why I told you that I wasn't looking to put anything more into there because I do have that rollover. For gas rollover, we have $48.62. So that. So we're starting with 48.62 for groceries we don't have any rollover and for personal we don't have any rollover so what we're going to do is now doing do our deposit so for duncan we are not adding anything for gas we're going to do a deposit of 60. so that's going to give us a hundred and eight dollars and sixty two cents then for groceries, we're doing a deposit of $150. So that gives us a total of $150. For personal, we're going to deposit $30. So that's going to give us a balance of $30. And there we have it. This is my cashless envelope system. This is how I stuff <laughs> my envelopes here. And Retrospect, usually what I do is the, the amounts total, I move to a respective account. For personal groceries, I spend on a prepaid card. Gas is left in a particular checking account because I have a gas buddy card and I use that to earn discounts at the pump. Also to hide my card at the pump, okay? Because I've had some weird business going on look at that i didn't even notice that i already chipped mm, it's fine i've been trying some uh different nail polish just out but that's not why you're here <laughs> and then the dunkin donuts um i had started with a small amount on a one card but i ended up just buying the actual dunkin donut gift card and so i just put the money there and we were cool in the game so this is me breaking down income for the first paycheck of my October budget. So now we have finished our income breakdown. If you have any questions, again, leave a comment below. Please share this with your family, friends, and coworkers. Give a thumbs up. Peace out.